Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the next GS. Today we are going to learn about get static props is not supported in app. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So basically what I do is I'm trying to uh, use the get static props into in our app router, right? So it's not supported in here. Why? Here you can see that the get static props function is not supported with the app directory in the next JS 14. So app router it will not work because currently you can see that I'm just using the page router. So that's the reason it's working. If I'm going to switch to the app router, it will not going to be work. Okay. So this is because get static props is specifically designed for data fetching in the in a page component, which are used to define the individual pages in your application, right? Why get static props isn't allowed in the application? So I will explain this. Get static props relies on the build process to pre-render content with the fetch data. This approach doesn't work with the app directory. The app directory is intended for the global application, state management, layout components, and other utility that apply across all the pages. Okay. So this is the main difference. And alternative approach for the data fetching in the application, you can use the server components. Okay. So if you want to fetch the data involves the server side logic and rendering consider the using server components with the app directory introduced in next year's 13. This components execute on the server and can assess the server resources. Get server side props in the page component again. So if you want the, if the data fetching is essential for the certain pages like define get server side props which those specific page components located outside the app directory. You can pass the fetch data as a props to all the app layout or the other components. Next, we have a client side data fetching. If you want to do, then you can use the use effect or and data fetching libraries like the SWR or the React query with the components, the app directory. Okay, this approach is suitable for dynamic data updates and the user specific needs. Okay, so this is how the things goes on. So why it's not uh, get static props is not supported in the app directory. So if you are trying to do that one, stop this one because it's basically used for the page router right not for the app router okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day